Hello Aries and welcome to your new moon in Capricorn tarot reading. So obviously this new moon is quite important because it's at the beginning of the new year as well and it's going to be in an area where it's quite um, related to long-term planning. So for you Aries, this new moon in Capricorn is happening in your 10th house of career and public image. So it's really, really good right now to um, set new ambitious, well, ambitions for your career and maybe set up new goals, taking decisive actions and maybe take the right steps toward it, um, towards really building your reputation and uh, your authority uh, in your life. So let's see what the new moon in Capricorn brings for you. We're going to use the light tears tarot deck and then we're going to draw an angel of abundance um, oracle card so let's see what the main theme for you here is aries around this new moon in capricorn so let's see where you're going to make progress with right so we have the two of pentacles exactly so this is about you learning or testing new ways to do things testing new um, approaches to your work life to your professional life maybe even trying new tools uh for your uh for your to use in your professional life and to improve your skills. And this is being very busy. This is being looking at different uh, types of, uh, of things that you can get engaged with. So this is really, really in line with this, um, um, the 10th the house for you. So we'll see what the clarifying cards are. We have the three of wands, we have the four of wands, and we have the knight of swords. So it's definitely about um, something that you truly want to see happening. The two of one, the three of ones, and the four of ones are are looking at things that you really want to see happening uh, in collaboration with people. The three of ones is also waiting for uh, the other people to engage with you on the same level, keeping your avenues of communications open, keeping your avenues of collaboration open, being very open to, to discussions and working together. And this is for the good of the community. This is for the good of the people around you. So this is something to celebrate with others. So you don't want to see this improvement in your life just for the sake of you being um, seen better but this is also to improve the quality of life for the people around you which i feel like it's truly truly beautiful to see here aries so your goal is to do something more in order for you to to improve the life of the people around you and even relationships with the people around you and have something to celebrate right the knight of swords is is also um is also an expression of your desires to see things through, to, to definitely reach for something, uh, to go chase after a dream, to go chase after a goal. And this is really a, a go-getter get, attitude, right? So even though you know that things may not be very clear or things may not be very well put in order, but you definitely want to follow through, you definitely keen to set things in motions because you're a cardinal sign you're a cardinal energy so taking things in your own hands really chasing after what you want so this is really beautiful to see so you have the ambition you have the motivation you have the purpose you have the community element into it so this is about how you can apply your your um apply your skills apply your knowledge apply your ambition and your ability to move forward uh, looking at things in a very very um, um forward looking way and really going after it right so it's beautiful to see here so this is asking you to actually get engaged actually uh, getting get engaging with this energy this is actually um, not sure why getting engaged came through here, but it might be a message for somebody um, to to partner with someone on this journey of of, um, of growth, right, and discovery and um, improving your lifestyle. So this is truly important for you here. Let's see what the angels of abundance uh, are saying to you for this new moon in Capricorn. So I can see. In this reading for you Aries that is 
there is this reminder that you are going to receive back as much as you invest in, right? So the energy that you're putting in now, the 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 actions that you are taking are going to uh, bear fruit long term. So it's about how much you engage with it, right? So let's see what the angels of abundance has for you. So we have windfall of abundance, right? And in Increasing abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health and charitable work, right? So this goes back to your community work. This goes back to you, your higher purpose. So you are being supported here to actually put into practice what you want to put into practice and to see the outcomes that you want to see because your purpose is to actually be of use for your community, be have charitable um, opportunities, right? So this is beautiful. So this is about having the resources and having the the um, the abundance from your own work in order for you to give to others, in order for you to give out of your abundance, give uh, uh, give from your blessing and to share your blessing with blessings with others so I think this is a really beautiful work that you're doing here Aries I really like this new moon for you and I hope to see you in your next reading take care bye